Hello everyone, welcome back to Stonehaven Shorts. If you're new to us and you've just found us on, um, on YouTube, then you might not know that we are just renewing ourselves into country living from living in the city in 20 years. I don't think that's too new, unique these days as there's quite a few of us doing that. Um, and yeah, we're just kind of relearning our skills and trying some new ones. So hopefully you'll tune in and subscribe and be part of our journey moving forward. Last fall, I was told that I, I, well, I knew that I had rose hips. We have a lot of wild roses here. We live in Northern Alberta, mid to Northern Alberta, uh, just an hour North of Edmonton. So there's a lot of wild roses and I love them. And one of the byproducts of that is having rose hips. So uh, last fall, I went out to harvest rose hips and not really quite sure what I was going to do with it, but I thought it might be fun to try. I've been told that you can make rose hip tea. So what better way to figure that out than to do it together? These are what the rose, rose hips are. I have literally stored them for well, oh, it was eight months or so. So they've done really well in just a jar here. What I need to do is grind them up. I have um, just an old coffee grinder here. I need to grind those up, steep the tea, and hopefully I don't die, but I'll film it just in case I am. <laughs> so stay with me and we'll check this out together. I have my rose hips loaded into my coffee grinder. You know what, it's not gonna make a whole lot uh, because honestly, I didn't know if I would survive it. So uh, let me just quickly grind this up. I don't wanna put you through the noise because it's, it's quite noisy. And then we will put it into our handy dandy uh, tea bag, dip it in some hot water and we'll see what happens. Hang in. I took the grinding to about 30 seconds and I have to tell you, I am very surprised at the fruity smell that is coming out of this. Uh, it's, it's kind of like a strawberry meets a raspberry smell. I'm shocked. Clearly I haven't done a lot of research on this. I just wanted to show you what that looks like. You can see some seeds in there as well. Um, it's not going to feed through obviously we're going to put it through a tea bag but a remarkable smell uh, a lovely smell i am going to put two of the perfect teaspoonfuls in here because i'm only going to brew one cup and we'll see what happens my little tea uh, pot is ready to go with some hot water now Perhaps I should have looked at a better recipe and maybe I should have boiled this water. It is almost a boiling, but it's not entirely boiling. So I'm going to let that steep for about three to five minutes. We'll pour it out and we'll see if I can live to tell the story, folks. I ended up having to boil the water. I had left it steeping just with uh, close to boiling water for about five minutes and it wasn't even changing color. Now, maybe it doesn't change color, I don't know, but I went, boiled some water. Now it's been steeping for about three minutes. Not a whole lot of change in the color. I don't know if this is gonna work, everybody, but you know what? Let's taste it and see. Maybe it needs to steep a lot longer or maybe that's just the way that it looks. It almost looks like apple juice. It's not very, not a very strong tea, which I get. Maybe it just isn't a very strong tea. So, all right, who has 911 ready to go for me? Let me smell. Mm, it smells good. It doesn't smell like it has a lot of that fruit smell that it once did. So, I don't know. I mean, it's tea. Um, meh. Honestly, you know, you can try it. It's it's not doing much for me. 
Maybe I'll have to let it steep some more. Maybe I need to add some honey or lemon, but uh, I'm not I'm not tasting it. Now, now, I'm a big coffee drinker, so maybe it's just tea and maybe it's just not my thing. I, I don't know, but I really wanted it to work. Hmm, I gotta come up with some other ideas of what to do with my rose hips. I know that there is a rose hip jelly, so maybe I'll take a stab at that. I do have a lot of rose hips, so it's not a matter of not having enough product, but it may be a matter of having the time to harvest it. Uh, on the upside, there's many different times that you can harvest the berries, and maybe maybe the jelly harvesting time is at a different time of year. I know that there's about five stages of what that rose hip looks like. So I don't know, I think I need a little bit more research. Overall, I'd give it a, let me try once more time. Mm, I'd give it a three out of 10. That's what I would give it. How about you guys do it yourself and you let me know in the comments down below. In the meanwhile, I'll do a little bit more research on rose hips and see what else we can figure out and we can learn together. Avoid the ordinary. I certainly did. I almost killed myself today. Uh, so hope to see you back here at Stonehaven Shorts.